Trade unions in the public service affiliated to Kasatu, Fedusa and Saftu have announced a national day of action set for next week, Thursday. This will see thousands of public sector workers down tools uh, countrywide with the main march expected to be in Swan. Uh, the national day of action comes after the government's failure uh, to meet the demands of workers through negotiations at the Public Service Coordinating Bargaining Council. Uh, the workers' demands include a 10% salary adjustment to the employer maintaining that it could not afford anything beyond their final offer of a 3% salary adjustment. The impasse has already seen the Public Servants Association embarking on marches countrywide. SBC News Economics uh, reporter Katla Kholokhori has more for us. An onslaught on the collective bargaining process, all in efforts to reverse the gains that workers have achieved over the years. Uh, that's how F trade union federations COSATU, FEDUSA and SAFTU have described today as they announced the planned a day of action set for the 22nd of November. The workers have taken issues with government accusing them of undermining the collective bargaining process in implementing that 3% wage offer that the workers have rejected, calling for about 10%. They say that uh, this will culminate in March as countrywide. They've been on pickets and they'll be joined by the Public Servants Association, whom we saw last week also uh, downing tools in a march uh, this uh, to the Treasury. I'm going to bring into the conversation now Mr. Simon Tlongwani. He is, of course, from the COSATUS Joint Mandating a Committee. Uh, just to let us in on their planned day of action. Uh, so we see that it's all set. You guys are looking forward uh, to next week uh, downing tools and your members are uh, just embarking and descending in Swani uh, just to march to the union buildings. Let in on really where we are right now and what forced uh, the workers to uh, just see themselves uh, deciding to on the 22nd of November planning a day of action that will see them uh, downing tools in the public sector. Well uh, today we are announcing the program of action that we have drafted as the joint uh, or combined federations uh, uh, COSATU, FEDUSA as well as uh, SAFTU but essentially on the 22nd of uh, November which is next week Tuesday. We are going to down tools and march to the national treasury and then other eight provinces will also have uh, provincial marches. In it, we are going to send the strong message to government, especially national treasury and the uh, Department of Public Service and Administration that they are, they are insult in the 3% is not adequate to make us keep quiet. Whether they pay it or they don't pay it, it makes no difference. Even if they pay it, it does not disappear. So this is the fight we're going to take to them and say, and by the way, we keep on saying, we're open to negotiate or to discuss with them. Our doors are always open to engage. They must reach out to us or else they are inviting a fully blown strike because members have already spoken. They have said they are ready to go on strike. So we are sending this message to tell them that you can still stop it if you are willing. But if you are not willing, it means you are, first you are an uncaring government because what will happen will be catastrophic to the society in general. Let us in on the impact then of what is to happen uh, next week in terms of uh, the delivery of services in the public sector. Uh, we know very well that this is bound uh, to have some sort of interference and disturbances uh, to the delivery of services uh, that people are dependent on. Uh, isn't this something that uh, maybe probably you've taken into consideration uh, to be disruptive in nature uh, where the delivery of services uh, from other people that are expecting uh, the services is concerned? In fact, we are inviting the public in general, those who receive services, essential or non-essential to come and join us in the march so that government must realize that they are all with us so that it can be sorted out remember among those those people in society it includes the unemployed teachers the unemployed nurses those who are aspiring to be police officers those who are aspiring to be uh, traffic police officers they must get employment and assist our public service and increase the number so that we can meet the ratios that are expected according to world standards now in terms of the impact of that it it means on the day there will be limited services where available. I would think that only critical services should be rendered on the day, but uh, majority should get out and go and show the, 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 the strength that we have as society in general. We are fighting for everybody because remember as public servants, we are carrying each public servant in, in, at, at average is carrying around eight people behind, be it siblings, be it cousins, be it children or parents. So that's why we want support. You can't distance public servants 
from their own families will live within society as well. That's why we need the support to that effect, including communities as well as other organizations, be it the tax industry, we're still going to engage them to say, please come and assist us on this day and show a sign of solidarity with ourselves as we do when they have issues to gripe around in, within the government and the community. The government went to unilaterally enforce the 3%, uh, saying that uh, the public uh, sector wage bill is bloated, saying that there's no money uh, to accommodate the public servants in terms of uh, them moving beyond uh, the 3%. What would be your response then uh, to a bloated public sector wage bill and the money that is not there to accommodate the public sector workers beyond the 3% that government has presented? Well, I must indicate that, uh, uh, firstly, the 3% that you say has been paid, majority of the members that have uh, seen it on PESAL are laughing and some are crying uh, with utter shock that they never imagined that uh, even though it was backdated for eight months, it looks so very little. And it is shocking that anybody can say Sibazamile with that little amount. But at any rate... Um, it is used in terms of the argument that there's a wage bill that is bloated. It is funny how when they say the wage bill is bloated, they only count those level 1 to level 12, who are the people that belong to the uh, PSCBC. But when they have to pay themselves from the same coffers, they don't talk about the wage bill that is bloated. You would remember that the same uh, uh, cabinet uh, has decided and the president or government themselves to to, to actually give themselves an increase of 3%, which goes way beyond for 24 months backward. And now you ask yourself, what is the impact of that? While they are also having so many leakages within the system, because you also have SOEs that have got leakages, but even within government departments, there's so much leakages when it comes to the, the procurement and of goods and services that is always happening. So when you look at all those things, you will then realize that the argument is only raised when it has to come with increasing salaries for public servants. They, are, they don't care about the leakages that we're having. They don't care about the corruption that is occurring at all levels. Where some of the items, instead of buying them at a normal price, they get inflated to be bought at 100 times the normal price. We don't want the 100 times increase. We only want just an average of the inflation targeting or even just above. But they are not meeting that. We are saying 10% was going to be just an inflation plus around about 3.1%. But they are not even able to meet the inflation, which is below, uh, the 3% is way below the inflation. And you will remember last year it was still below inflation. In 2020, there was just a zero increase. So it means from our side, the argument is only raised and, and also only raised to confuse the public and also to push a narrative so that they can push their new neoliberal agenda of pushing the austerity budget that day. But we think it will not work for our country. We'll stand firm and fight because we're not going to allow them to continue like that. Simon Tungwane, thank you very much, sir, for your time. It's coming through from COSATU, just letting us in on where they are standing, united as the federations, FEDUSA, SAFTU and COSATU, just announcing today that they are going to be marching in the streets of Tswane, embarking on that national day of action that will see the downing of tools in the public sector, but also a clarion call for the public to also uh, next week join in on uh, this demonstration, as this is just in a good cause in the support of public servants that are, you know, have families that they have to support uh, through this implemented 3% that has been categorized really as a joke uh, by those that have already received it uh, thus far. Katla Holohodi, SABC News, Centurion.